Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Jake Judah. And as you can see, I'm in my bathroom. And today we are going to go on a double date with Jared and Sammy. Uh, we're going to do dinner and a movie. And I thought I'd do a little get ready with me and bring you along. So yeah, I'm not really going to be doing much. And I'm sorry if it's a little echoey, but I'm Anyways, I'm not going to be really doing much. I'm just going to straighten my hair and put on a little makeup because you all know I don't really do makeup. But I just felt like getting a little extra ready. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. So, yeah, um... I'm just gonna Ooh. I have one of those pedestal sinks and literally there's nothing to hold there's it's just the sink so I have to be careful I'm gonna use some uh, Tresemme heat spray for my hair because I'm gonna straighten it that's if I can even it doesn't want to stay It smells really good. Can you tell I don't do this very often? Nope. All right. streak of gray Thank you. 
I do okay? <laughs> Alrighty, I'm done with the hair. Now we're gonna get a little, uh, a little makeup going. Not like it's really gonna be a whole lot, but I'm gonna do something. Should I do a little eyeliner? Hmm. Can't really do that. <laughs> Hold on a second. Alrighty, so I've got my first coat on. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> attempt to do my eyebrows. I haven't done them in so long, so... So this is what it looks like to have eyebrows again. <laughs> Alright, so I took off the lipstick. I I tried. I had it on for a while. I just didn't like the way it felt. And I added this. So. There we go. Finished look. I'm ready. We're gonna go have some fun. I hope. Alright, so this is dinner at Brahms. Yum! So we just got back. Obviously, we couldn't film in the theater, and hopefully, you under hopefully the picture I took showed you that we went to see Alien Romulus. And uh, <laughs> I will say, Sammy did not like it. She left the theater. Well, she left that the the specific theater and went out into the lobby because <laughs> it was a little too much for her. But we, we watched it, and uh, actually I did pretty good. I didn't have any issues, so I was I was good with that. But um, I don't know. I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but I did really enjoy it. But did you enjoy it? Yeah. If you're a person like me, like I like horror movies, this wasn't over the top crazy. The only thing I will say... Is it has a lot of f bombs, a lot. Did it? I really didn't yeah. pay attention. I mean, I heard them, but I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't counting. Yeah, like even if you have kids that are into horror movies and you don't want them. Okay, but that, I mean, it, there was a lot. A I'm lot. sorry, cussing and horror movies. Yeah, I have know. a tendency to go hand in hand. I would not say that this was a horror movie. It was definitely yeah, a space adventure. It was action. There were jump scares, obviously, because, I mean, I jumped multiple times. Um, but it wasn't a horror movie. So if you're wanting a horror movie, this is not what you want. And I'm still trying to figure out how it ties in and fits in to the whole series. I... I know that it sits in between Alien, the 1979 movie, and Aliens, which was the sequel. When did that come out? 1980? Uh, 80-something. 80 80-something. 80 I don't know. I'll pop that up right now. Um, anyway, so it sits in between those. So it's, it's after the first one, before the second one. Uh, do you have to watch... The rest of the storyline or the rest of the series to watch this movie I would say no it can stand alone 
I mean, you do get a little bit more information knowing what the xenomorphs are and whatnot, but as far as does it have to be watched in order to under or does the other movies have to be watched in order to understand this movie? Not at all. Um, I have I've seen every alien movie except the two Alien versus Predator movies. I haven't seen those. Have you? No. Have you seen all the other I've, Alien? I haven't movies? even seen Alien Four. I've seen Alien, Aliens, and Alien the third Three. One. Yeah. Uh, okay, so there's, um, please forgive me, I don't remember exactly what order they go in. I know the two, um, Alien vs. Predator, go come first, and then it's either Covenant or Prometheus, or vice versa, and then I believe it's Alien, Alien Rom Romulus, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection. Okay. And I've seen... All of the others except for the Alien vs. Predator. And I don't think you have to watch the rest of the series in order to understand this movie. I mean, it's got a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it really doesn't tie into the other movies. There's... That was one of the letdowns for me. But that's a small letdown as far as the movie itself goes for me. Um, kind of a slow start. Once it gets about 45 minutes into the movie, nonstop. Like, oh, yeah. you don't even want to go to the bathroom. It's, there's, it's just like, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah. Hey, that's the first thing Jared said. Yeah. <laughs> when the movie ended, he's like, I have to go pee. I've been holding it for da da da. <laughs> yeah. Um. It does tie in, but it doesn't tie in, if that makes any sense. Now, I will say this. It does mention Alien, but briefly. It mentions the seven people the two decades ago from the other continent. One of the androids. So, um, I don't want to put out too many spoilers yeah, no. just in case. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. The ending, it... Her and Jared got the we spoiler. Spoiled. I did not. So I wasn't expecting what I saw at the end. And I was kind of like, wow. <laughs> you know? So yeah, that and, was kind of and Yeah, Jared and I both got spoiled on the same thing, which we didn't know because neither one of us said what it was that we got spoiled on. <laughs> and, and uh, but I will say, I, it clicked for me, before it clicked for Jared. Jared realized the connection when a certain thing happened, and I realized the connection when another certain thing happened, but my certain thing happened well before his. So I I knew what was going to happen or how it was going to happen. I just didn't know exactly how they were going to make it happen, if that makes any sense. But all in all, I think it was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. It's If you like any of the Alien movies, you're going to like this. Is it scary? It's just like any of the others. It's got those jump scares. You know, something's going to come at you all of a sudden, and it's loud. Yeah, but it's not. I don't think it should be in the horror movie genre. I think it's a sci-fi It's definitely, thriller, yeah, you know? it's definitely sci action sci-fi thriller. And um, I was, you know, it's funny. I was waiting, waiting for that sound. Do you know what sound I'm talking about? No. Like the alien sound? No, no. I was like, waiting for that motion detector. Oh, like, um, I know what you're talking about. It's the scanner thing. Yeah, it, that, that I makes that. I, yeah. I can hear it in my head. And I was looking to see if I still had any of the Alien games. Oh, gosh. Because I used to have Alien for the original PlayStation. And I don't know if I have it anymore. I'll have to go through them and find out. Anyways. I was, I was anticipating that sound that 
uh, sadly to say it never happened but that's okay it is a very it, I enjoyed the movie I thought it was really good will I watch it again oh yeah definitely I probably won't go to the and theater to watch it again what's your favorite aliens including this one does it fall in that my favorite still is the second one, Aliens, with Bill Paxton right. um, and Sigourney Weaver and all that. Um, it, it, yeah, it's the new one, this one, it's good, but still, it, it's not as good as that one to me, I in think my opinion. Aliens is the hard one to beat. Yeah, it, it really is. It doesn't is. beat that. It, uh, I don't think any of them yeah. beat Aliens. Not even... Prometheus or Covenant, they were they were completely different, but the same. Yeah, they were. It was the Xenomorphs um, were the. And things even that... if Sigourney Weaver wasn't in the new one, you know who I hoped would be in it? Hicks. Um, Newt. Oh, Newt! Like maybe she was grown up a little. Okay, but you have to remember, we don't meet Newt until after Romulus, because. It, it, That's right, because she's in Aliens, and it's in between. Yeah, so, so we wouldn't yeah. have met Newt. Yeah. She she wasn't even born. You have I, to remember. Because the timeline. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it was after. after. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, it was good. It was good. And today was fun. I enjoyed spending time with Jared and Sammy. I'm sorry, Sammy, I... I I know you didn't like the movie. I'm glad you did come, and I just I'm sad that it wasn't a movie that you wanted to watch or enjoyed. Next time, next time, Jared, pick a different movie. But anyways, did you have fun? Yeah. All right. Well, now my tongue's tied because I can't remember what am I what am I about to say? Oh, if you liked this video, <laughs> hit the like button. And leave us a comment. Have you seen Alien Romulus? Have you seen any of the Alien movies? And which one is your favorite? We all, we both know that, or we all know, I should say, you guys obviously know now know that Aliens is our favorite. It is one of the only sequels that outdid the original movie. And if you haven't seen that one, you've got to see it. I mean... Bill Paxton in that movie oh. just cracks me up. Game over, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's he's comical in that movie. So good. Uh, you know, Bishop the artificial grabs his hand and does the little knife trick on there with Synthetic. him. And, well, if they haven't seen um, it, then they don't know that part. You gotta you see ha it. <laughs> you gotta go see it. Yeah, just some of the things that they say are comical in that. Pretty cool. And I will say this, there was some things, some other things that were brought into Romulus that pulled from Alien and Aliens. I'll just say that. And, and I will say this, um, when they were trying to get out of the airlock, the, the artificial that they had with them at that time gave them these weapons. Synthetic. And, or the synthetic, and they were like, yeah, we could blow him away. He's like, don't fire one shot. And I was like, yeah, I would, you know, with these aliens. But don't get... their acid, well, everyone well, knows they're, they, they have, they, acid they have for concentrated blood. blood for acid. acid so if they shoot blood. them, the acid will drop, 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 and then eventually go out the bottom of Remulus and causing... Uh, you know, uh, you know, what do you call it? I don't know. Where it, um, implodes? Not implodes, like an airplane. It just, it's, 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 um, it's air tight or whatever. Decompressed. <laughs> yeah. So they were like, don't fire. And, but he was like, just use the gun as a scare tactic. But I'm not going to give away the, they, they're able to fight with the guns, and I don't want to tell you how. The, there's something that they do inside Remulus. Romulus. Romulus that 
and it's cool. I was I was like, dude, that's pretty cool. I don't know. Should I tell him what it is or? No. No, the movie hasn't been out quite long yeah. enough yet. One more week and then we can say everything. Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty cool. All right. Now, I will yeah. say this. The special effects and everything was amazing. They they did go back old school and use practical effects as well. It was very well done. I think it was very well done. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I hope that if you go see it, you enjoy it. And... With that, if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And now, what do I say? And remember, gravity works, guys. Does it really? Man, there's a lot of gravity. Gravity even works in the movie. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs>